race is over, the shroud of secrecy has been lifted. Spectre is the name of the 24th official James Bond film, which is set to be released in late 2015. 007 fans will know Spectre as the ruthless terror organisation from the classic films of the early days. So, will this new one measure up, or has the Bond franchise passed its use-by date? We'll discuss that shortly, but first, here's M, our mini. It's not very secret service. And this is Pinewood Studios, today unveiling the name of the 24th 007 film. Well, they were never going to settle with a PowerPoint presentation, were they? As director Sam Mendes did the honours of unveiling his cast, there was a back-to-school feel. Naomi Harris returns to play Moneypenny. Enter new Bond girl Italian star Monica Bellucci. But Bond, watch your back. Oscar winner Christoph Waltz has been cast as a villain. And last but not least, head boy Daniel Craig, of course, who, despite a deadpan expression, could not be more excited. There's been so much hard work and effort, and so today just, you know, it just signifies the beginning, and that's just very exciting. And this is where it all began. The year was 1962, and the first ever 007 film, Doctor No, Sean Connery sat in this very casino and uttered the line, it's Bond. James Bond. As we know, that never did get boring. Bond. James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. The name's Bond. James Bond. You made a mistake. So if you're a Bond boffin, you'll know Spectre was a terrorist organisation in the vintage 007 movies, led by evil genius Blofeld, a.k.a. the cat-stroking villain. Bond bosses, though, are being tight-lipped about the character returning, but critics are convinced. That's why Spectre is fantastic as an idea, because it refers to that old villainous terrorist organisation in the 60s, and that means they're going back to their roots, which is exactly what they have to do. Plus, we're going to see Blofeld, one of the greatest villains of all time in the Bond series. And that means we're going to see his white cat as well. Spectre's out next November. That's one secret Bond's gladly giving away. Mini Stevenson, Five News. Joining me now is Caroline Frost, who's entertainment editor of the Huffington Post, and super Bond fan, Graham Rye, who's also editor of the 007 magazine. You are, really, aren't you? You love it. Yes. That's your job, really. Well, it is my job. It has been for 30 years, and yeah, I do enjoy it. Yeah. Busy day for you, then. What do you think of Spectre? I think it's great, great title, and I think it makes a great deal of sense. As the filmmakers spend a lot of money in getting all of that uh, material together under their control, and not to use it in the first James Bond film after Skyfall wouldn't have made a lot of sense. So that's why it's Spectre. Yeah, there's a, there's a reason for this. They, they've got their hands on all the sort of Bond, uh, the Bond universe, if you like, finally. Yeah, like finally. After, after many years of litigation with Kevin McClory, he'd come out of the woodwork every now and again and would stop any chance of Blofeld and Spectre reappearing in a Bond film. Because this is the guy who worked with Ian Fleming. He was the guy that co kind of co-wrote Thunderbolt, yeah. So let me just throw a few of our viewer messages at you because we're asking whether Bond is past his sell-by date. Um, Zoe Campbell on Facebook, yes, it's definitely past his sell-by date. It should have been shelled years ago. And Sarah Lee says, if they choose the right Bond, it might be OK, but I didn't connect to Daniel Craig. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Well, I think that uh, it's entirely a, a matter of personal choice, but I think he plays the character in a, in a very insular fashion. Bond in the books is a very, uh, very insular kind of guy. You get inside his head because of the way they're flowing, right? Craig is such a good actor, he's able to transform that kind of thought pattern onto his face. Mm. It's something that very few other actors, I think, have been able to do in a role. Caroline Stephen Lund says on Facebook that James Bond is incredibly far-fetched, of course. It's still good, though. Daniel Craig is by a mile the best Bond. Ooh, them fighting words. <laughs> um, I have a personal affection for Roger Moore because he was the one of my youth, but I know that... Me too. Highly controversial statement. Sure um, I mean, at the Huffington Post, we spend glorious hours wondering who's going to be the next one. And people like Idris Elba have stepped forward to say he's been told to pipe down, never to speak of such things. Colin Firth says things like he's given up trying. So obviously it's still seen as a really important sort of feather in the cap for British actors, Is it whatever really? they might say. And it's a defining thing. They've all talked about this. I've interviewed a couple of them and they've each said it's a, it's a small elite club and it's only made their lives better. 
Ian Smith on Facebook says, um, I think we need a new Bond actor. I would choose Jay James from The X Factor. Thoughts on that? <laughs> no thoughts. No, it's all over now. Okay, let, let's take this opportunity to, look, to relive favourite moments. Graham, what's your favourite ever Bond moment? I love this kind of thing. Well, I think for me, that scene in Goldfinger when, he, you know, when Sean Connery is on the, uh, the laser table. There's no, there's no man in the audience watching that ever can sit there and not feel uncomfortable when that laser beam is going between his legs. Let's have a quick look. Do you expect me to talk? No, Mr. Bond, I expect you to die. There is nothing you can talk Brilliant about. stuff. And uh, we could see Blofeld again, could we? I think it's highly likely, yeah. Yeah. It's highly likely. But I mean, the fact that uh, Christoph, Christoph Waltz's uh, character has another name doesn't necessarily mean anything. Caroline, we've got time for your favourite. Just very quickly, what was it? I would say it's probably uh, Roger Moore jumping on the crocodiles and never let die. Yeah, I, I think we all love Roger Moore a little bit secretly. No one arched an eyebrow like he did. <laughs> Thank you both very much indeed. I'm sure we'll all go and see Spectre when it comes out. Uh, is it October 2015? November yeah. the 6th. That's it from us for now, though. Back tomorrow. See you then. Bye-bye.